My connection to Sweden began around 15 years ago, quite early when I uh, took delivery of my Spirit 52. I do spend a lot of time cruising the archipelago as this area of sailing is uh, something that uh, came to me relatively early in my sailing career with Spirit. And I've been enjoying it as a very challenging but also quite unique uh, sailing destination. There's very few boats and types of boats that you can own and run as family boats and run as race boats. There's an um, opportunity to go and really see what wood can do as a, as a production material and also bring this very archaic building material into a modern, a modern environment, giving it the chance to live on as a forgotten and downplayed material. And I believe that there's very few things that last in the same way as spirits do. Intention when ordering guys was to find a boat that can support a family in comfort and in safety. On the, on the other hand side can function very well as a race boat and as a third dimension also look the way that new spirits do. Whichever angle you come from when building the boat, I think most uh, yards will either commit to one but not to both. Also the, the chance to go and sail a boat that's dynamic, which many larger boats aren't in the same way and also be able to share this with friends and family um, over days and weeks and many events across Europe and also find competition that we can race like we do currently here in the Archipelago in Stockholm against Gaia. This was the first time that we can really go and put the two boats to the test and it's uh, quite important to understand that there is not much competition for a modern classic that is that fast to pin it up against anything else and being able to match the two boats next to each other was an opportunity I wouldn't miss, especially since Gaia is a race boat that had an interior fitted and Geist is a family cruiser that was ultimately built into to be able to function as a race, race boat as well. The first day started off as a match race and it was the first time we, we matched race as a team. We found some of the best conditions I've, I've had, 20 knots, 25 knots in the gusts, flat seas, open waters, and ultimately a uh, great competition. For us it was uh, a real eye-opener to see that we could, we could actually achieve this as a team and make the boat run so well. On today's trip, we sailed back from Santam to Stockholm through the archipelago, done over 100 tacks in this, uh, in this race. I still haven't metabolized it yet. It's an uh, experience that I'll never forget. Uh, the, the way that the boats are close to each other, the opportunity of really pinning the boat like you'd pin a dinghy is uh, stunning quite unique. It's such a feeling and knowing that by only spirits uh, coming to any yacht club, you'll always have eyes on yourself and it's uh, most likely that you'll be the most beautiful boat in the harbour. It's definitely a novelty that people appreciate. You only get smiles when you sell spirits.